Well, like I said, this is part two. It is pitiful in this day and age where decent, honest people are spread out just to make it seem or feel a certain way. I wish everybody was... I don't wish everybody. I want everybody to uh, be respectful. It's like, man, I got this guy calling me a monkey. So I said to him that one of your videos is gay. Riding a quad through water is gay. Getting on one of those little quad bikes is gay. Just to see what he would say. So then this guy goes to another one of my videos and calls me a monkey again. And then I go on his page and I ask him, um, why? And apparently it's because I said, uh, I don't, he never had answered, but I'm assuming it's because normally when I comment on somebody like this, it's always off, off the, off the cuff and out of the blue and, you know. They think they call you a name and they giggle and they walk away and then you say something that makes no sense to them on their page and then they they tend to go bad on you. So this guy tells me that um, I live in a an apartment because of the way the the studio looks. Now, how many people you know would expose sheetrock in an apartment? Think about it. Think about it real hard. What kind of landlord would let somebody live like that? But now, hey, he says uh, that I need to stop living off the government. And what else did he say? I need to stop living off the government and some shit. But this person don't know me. Uh, they call me a monkey. And I said, you're riding a quad through water is gay. I'm not going to pay five, ten thousand dollars $10,000 for a, 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 a quad and ride it through mud. I'm not like that. I'm not going to buy a truck and put big-ass wheels on it and ride it through mud. What the fuck? Is that a white thing? Hmm? Riding around in mud? It's like, like NASCAR. Right? I like Sears Point Raceway, but them ovals riding around a circle, it's not a fucking sport. I had an argument over this once before. We're talking stereotypes right here. You and your tight ass Wrangler jeans, you know what I'm saying? The stereotypes of white people are some of the most profound stereotypes in history because of their wet hair. When their hair gets wet, they smell like a wet dog that true? If you're white, go wet your hair and shake it out like a white girl because what white girls do when they want to catch a black man and shake their hair. And... Am I offending you yet? Am I upsetting white people because I don't want myself to be called a monkey because I'm tired of regional stereotypes? Now, when you look at a white person, what do you see? Do you see a clan member? Do you see some rich person who, who's who got money and who, who doesn't give a fuck about a black person or Mexicans? What do you see when you see a white person? You see a powerful uh, Aryan man, strong, and the world's on his shoulders? Do you see a tyrant? What do you see when you see a Mexican? Is it wet back? Somebody, a grape picker, farmer with 15, 20 kids in the house. What do you see when you see a Mexican? What? What do you see? Well, I'm trying to have a conversation with people out there who wants to understand the differences between people. I don't give a fuck about any differences. There are more alikes than differences in every human being anyway. What do you see? You see a monkey right now? See a fucking nigger? What do you see? The fuck do you see right now? Hmm? See, 
as a human being, as an individual, and as a person of respect, a self-respecting person, what do you see? Now, I want people to understand when you see a white person, what do you see? I want you to understand when you see a Mexican, what do you see? You see a Chinese, you see Asian, you see whatever the fuck you see. What do you see when you see them? Do you see a person or do you see the stereotype that you've been taught? Is this Asian lady going to get in her car and go run into somebody? Ooh, I don't want to be behind those Mexicans. They don't have no insurance. They might just lock up so you can rear end them and sue you. What are we, what are, what are we doing? What is this? If we can have self-respect, love, and respect for ourselves and our family and those we like, how come we can't just show love and respect for those who are most like us? I'm not saying just black people respect black people, Mexican respect Mexican, white, white, whatever. I'm just saying those people who are most like us. If you got two arms, two ears, a nose, and two eyes, that's mostly just like us. Two legs, that's like us. Us is white, black, green, purple, blue, orange, brown. Us is everything. Stereotypes are everywhere. How can we trust this Mexican? How can we trust that white guy over there? Is it the white man we can't trust or the white woman we can't trust? Is it the Mexican who speaks clean English or the one that just got here? Which one do we trust? Who do we trust? We can't trust ourselves. I don't trust black people. I don't trust white people. I don't trust those who look like me, act like me, or sound like me because they may just be niggers. What the fuck do we do? What the fuck are we? Who the fuck are we to allow ourselves to be placed in boxes? And then we walk through life. We go around to every box and read the label. The labels are misleading. We just read the... I can't talk to this one. It says, maybe Aryan. This one says, I'm black and I don't have a job. This one says, I'm white supremacist. This one says I'm sorry for the problems that white people have caused black people. But you can say a million things negative about black people, white people, whoever. The bottom line is we're so much the same. We are the same. No matter how many black kids break in their car, how many white kids break in their car, how many Mexican kids break in their car, the fact of the matter is a car was broken into. Let's find the problem. Stop these kids from doing things they shouldn't have to do. Life is bleak enough as it is for us to be walking around putting labels on people's foreheads and we don't even know which person they're sticking the label on. In other words, am I the good black guy or the bad black guy? Am I the good cop or the bad cop? Am I the cool white guy or am I the dickhead prick white guy? Am I the white guy that's going to be respectful or am I going to be the white guy that don't have no respect for your ass? Which person am I going to be? I'm tired of this. We walk through a minefield of human beings every fucking day trying not to step on the wrong one's foot. For what? So someone else can say it was your fault. So someone else can assume that you have what you don't have. So someone else can make out a story that's so fantastic that it can only be believed by those who believe. Because of a stereotype. I saw on the news today it said 90% uh, of black people are on food stamps. I haven't fucking seen a food stamp since I was... 12 years old um, my son has never seen a food stamp but 90% of all blacks are on food stamps is this believable or is this a stereotype so when we push buttons and we make statements and, and we look at numbers and everything who writes them, who makes them who perpetuates the stereotype not all white people are crackers not all niggas are niggers so, as a human being and as a person, I just want to respect everybody and give my hand and respect. You don't have to like me. You don't even have to give a damn. But if you give me the same respect I give you, we'll last and we won't be too.